Are you wanting an easy chicken recipe that's filling and delicious, but you don't want to heat up the kitchen? Well, this is the recipe for you. So stick around and I'll show you how to do it. <music> Greetings, friends. I'm Kim from Delicious Chemistry, where you learn the science of low-carb cuisine. I'm so glad you could be here. Maybe you made my roast chicken and asparagus recipe. If so, you can use some of the leftover meat from that. If not, just go ahead and pick up a rotisserie chicken at the grocery store, and that's perfectly fine. This is loosely based on the Neiman Marcus chicken salad, so let's head into the kitchen. First, we're going to make the mayonnaise, so you're going to need the following ingredients. You'll need a large jar that has a wide opening and a wide bottom so that the immersion blender can move around freely at the bottom. Make sure your eggs are at room temperature because they will emulsify better. Today, I used avocado and olive oil, but you can use an assortment of different healthy oils. You'll need a total of one cup of oil, and this will make a little over one cup of mayonnaise. For this recipe, I used lemon juice, but you could also use vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is actually a pretty good choice. Then you can add salt and a little bit of mustard if you like the flavoring. If you don't, just leave it out. Place the immersion blender at the bottom and leave it there for about 20 seconds before it's starting to lift it slowly. Now you're going to see before your eyes the science of emulsion. It only took one minute to whip this mayonnaise. This is what it should look like, thick and silky smooth. Here are the list of ingredients you will need to make the chicken salad. The mayonnaise we just made, cream for later, chicken, celery, grapes, toasted almonds, and salt and pepper. Cut the chicken into whatever size pieces you like. Add the celery. Grapes. I use champagne grapes. Salt, pepper, and now I'm going to add the mayonnaise. I ended up adding a cup, but I don't really think I needed that much. And then stir really well. You want to incorporate everything, so make sure that you scoop from the bottom up. Now it's time to whip the cream. This is what makes it so unique, is because it adds a lightness and a fluffiness.
Now incorporate the whipped cream into the chicken salad. Do it gently so that you don't end up deflating the whipped cream. The whipped cream adds a nice lightness and fluffiness that this salad needs. Alright, now we're ready to assemble. I'm going to be using butter lettuce, but you could use Napa cabbage, romaine, or kale. Here's something else. This is by Trader Joe's. These are new crackers that they have, and they only have three net carbs for each large cracker, like you see here. Earlier, I had set aside some of the grapes and toasted almonds because I'd like to use them for garnish. I especially like the almonds on top because it really gives it a nice crunch. Dig in and make sure you have plenty of napkins.